I'm trying to get a law passed to where people who out of negligence, where they're texting on their cell phone or just not paying attention, should be held accountable for their actions. Because when you get behind the wheel of a car, it's just like standing behind a gun. It's a weapon. And you should pay attention, especially for motorcycles. They have their headlights on. You have to see them coming. You know. And these numbers that you showed me today, it makes me mad. I'm outraged about it. There's no sense in it. And you've got people who've been fighting for years to try to get law passed. When is legislation going to start listening to the public? When it happens to a member of their family, like it has mine, and Jenny, the lady from Hendersonville, there's so many people out there. They need to pass a stricter law for people who drive and cause fatalities or serious accidents out of negligence. And what would, what would a, you know, so if there was a stiffer law that took away a license or suspended somebody, uh, how would that help the families that are grieving with lost loved ones? We would know they're not on the road. We wouldn't have to worry about them hitting, hitting somebody else. They wouldn't be on the road. And maybe they would learn something from it. But they also need to go back and see how many times has this person been charged with this, this, and this. Is it a habitual offender? Then if it's a habitual offender, jail time. You know, that's, I mean, that's the way I look at it. Mm -hmm. Because they're, they have taken something from these families that can't be replaced. Our loved ones are gone. All we have is a marker to go and look at. These people have their lives. And I'm not going to stop fighting for this. I'm not.